Okay, I just woke up. It's my first morning. I mean, my last morning. It's the last day of school. Good times. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out. So, last time in Maldi one, how do you feel? Uh, pretty good. It's bittersweet. Okay. I'm pumped to move on to bigger and better things. Okay. Oh my god. Last zero to first period bell. Closing time. One last call. I just spelled the word said. S E D in a letter to my teacher. S E D. Closing time. Look at that face. No, you're so red. So ready? <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Hey. Last first period ever, bell just rang. We're walking out okay. now. The, the last time we're last ever gonna walk through the threshold. Oh my god. Last day in it's calculus. a little bit stressed. So Victoria, you wanna get in it? Yeah. So say, say a little word. Uh, peace out high school, bye. <laughs> peace out high school. Bye, Miss G. Please start my day. Beautiful glass. Thank you. Bye, Miss G. You've been a G this whole time. We're gonna step over at the same time. Left All foot right. first. Left foot One, first. Two, three. You're, you put the right. Get out of here. You're an idiot. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. Did last day of high school, how do you feel? <laughs> no comment. I don't remember my first day. What did you wear? Yeah. I don't remember. Probably some ugly outfit. College is more responsibility. Bye, thank you. I'm a three three. about to drive home, staying a little sentimental, but just trying to keep it together. Honestly, I'm uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> I admit this is a little uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, feels pretty nice. What is this for? Excited, kind of scared, mostly excited. Um, also just heartbroken because I miss so many teachers, like Marks, just, I cry. I have no words to describe Whoa. my feelings. It's been a ride, it's been a hell of a ride. Wow, four years. Tomorrow's graduation, and how is that possible already? It's gone by so fast, and all the memories are made. Like, I have nothing left. It's done. Oh, weird. So it's weird that we're done with school, so but it's also really exciting. But it was really sad saying bye to everyone. It, I, I don't know, I feel excited, but you know, it's bittersweet, just like leaving everybody behind. I'm afraid to get out of the place and without my mom holding me. <laughs> grown a lot more than Dado has. Why you wrote about that joke? <laughs> um, I have, yeah, you know, I'm a little bit this way too. I have grown, um, my feet have grown, like, two sizes. I got new flip flops. Yeah, why is there a video? <laughs> Looks, obviously, I mean, like, but I've definitely grown to be a more social person, more outwardly, I guess. I'm not really that shy. I've definitely become more confident and I still don't know exactly like, who I am or what I want to be, but I'm taking paths, taking steps towards reaching that. I used to hit it from the right. <laughs> I hit it from the left. Don't use that. When I was a freshman, I was extremely shy and like antisocial and I just kind of like try to keep to myself except for the people who I was super close with. And then with all the friends that I have now, I realized um, that like that was just pointless and you have to be talkative. Now I'm a lot more confident in myself and I'm a lot more outgoing and I like to have fun just like hanging out with people instead of kind of keeping to myself. I had every year of time to have a Jedi. I don't know if you guys noticed, Cole, this is a very Cole, intense stare. Cole, right here, Cole, right here, walk through the picture. Very cool. I was into having bleached blonde hair. Okay. Which turned orange. <laughs> and really friends. <laughs> that was freshman year. I don't know, I you think I've become more confident in like 
true to who I am, like, more myself than I was. Going into ninth grade, I was really awkward, even though my skin had cleared by then. Thank God to Accutane. Every year has been a level up in my confidence. Freshman year, I had noticed it at lunch, so me, Julia, and Aaron every day would go to different clubs. Sometimes about three or four clubs in one day at lunch. And you want to know what we said to each other every single day? Hey, where are we going clubbing today? Oh, first memory? Dano, definitely. Sam and I are going together for four more years together. Four years of great fun. We're rooming together for reals. Gender neutral Bang, bang. Bang, bang. bang. Oh. It was kind of intense. I don't know. Just getting into the new environment. Just getting used to Costa. Uh, just progressively got a lot easier at that. Hey, first memory? Bear down. I just didn't know what my locker was, to be honest. I was just so confused, and it literally, I was like 10 minutes late to my first period like of Gosa because I just didn't know where my locker was. I thought that was a really bad start to my high school experience, but I turned out pretty hot, so that's fine. <laughs> my first day, I was like really confused because the campus is really big and sorry. You can always tell a freshman for sure when yeah. they're like looking at that, that map in the beginning of their uh, planner and they're like, oh my god, where am I going? And that was definitely... I remember walking to school and I was walking up the ramp and I thought this feels so weird. And then I remember going to class and just being really awkward. I think freshman year I wore a lot of like athletic shorts. I'm okay. pretty sure that's that was the call. Oh, I was such a weird person, honestly. I don't remember. What did I wear for my first day of high school? I feel like I should know that. Well, freshman year I wore granny panties and now I wear thongs. <laughs> a white shirt and a white tank top. Wedding with a sports bra. Jesse, why oh. is your gown so Jesse, how so tall did you say you? I was sitting at a table with my friend and I thought to myself, wow. I feel included. The first one is probably my sister's friends, all on the first day of school, making sure I had a place to sit at lunch. So they came up and kicked juniors off the table and sat with us and had a place to sit. Sophomore year, I tried to enter this incredibly intimidating group of people that I had never really like, talked to. And I mean, after that day, I got along so well with them that I went home and I had the most relaxing, like comforted, welcoming, feeling that I had ever had, and I guess I just never looked back. Freshman, not freshman year, I was on JV with none of my friends. Okay, sophomore year on JV, whenever all of my other friends from like, were in the same grade as me, played on the same team, it was actually really fun, and I wasn't like, treated poorly by the people on my team. I had a really bad experience freshman year. How did you overcome that? Uh, <laughs> I didn't, it was just really bad experience. <laughs> I thought I'd get okay. drugged. Don't want to be. <laughs> Paloma, be interviewed. Oh, We're gonna look at this, and like, I think I look off for it now. But when I'm like 60 and super wrinkly, I'll probably be like, wow. Did so you just switch lanes to get past the traffic? You know, like, <laughs> like everyone. Does. There was no tra traffic in the left lane for some reason. <laughs> there was so much in the right. Everyone was just piled up. So I was like, I'm gonna be diligent. <laughs> We were so late, we? we were so late. All of a sudden, about a hundred feet down, I see a truck coming towards us, and I'm like, oh my god! And, and we're at the stop sign, and the truck is going the exact same direction as us, so I'm trying to go down the left lane, and he's trying to go up the left lane, and it just wasn't happening. He was just on his horn, and like then laying on that thing. You're like, oh shit, it's 11! And so I, I just I swerved around it, and it was okay, but it was, and then we're, we're fine. Yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we're a little messed up, but that's right. not from that. <laughs> My first party, I wasn't drinking, and that was a good thing. I was invited by a senior, so I was like, oh, uh, hello, like, yes, I am arriving with a senior. Well, this is our last time going to practice after school. It's been like four years of like hectic. Mania. Walking out of fifth period the day before the last day and I realized it was like the last full day of school and that Julia wouldn't be driving me home after fifth period anymore and I got really sad for some reason. Julia? Hi. What is this? Separated. We were reunited so that was exciting for us. Family. I don't know, it's just weird being done. I like, 
feel like this was such a big part of my life because it was like four years and I'm only 17. So that's like a good almost fourth. We're both 17 because we're twins. I'm 18. Shoot, I actually am 18. I'm older than you. You don't go to high school just to learn. Like you grow as a person, you find out who you want to be and who you are. And that's so much more important than like, learning calculus or learning biology. I remember on the last day of school for AP English, I went in and I wasn't very sad and I was kind of like, it's the end of high school, no big deal. And then Miss Seeker said that she was going to read us a letter she wrote to us and then she started reading the first sentence and broke down crying and read the rest of the letter to the tree outside because she couldn't make eye contact with anyone. And then I cried and then Aaron cried a lot and then I cried some more and it was really sad and it kind of hit me that high school's over and we've all been through so much together but we're all moving forward. All right, so my first question is, who's a better kisser, Arjun or Alex? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a joke. Okay, how's yeah. your uh, marriage going? It's good. It's all right. No. Yeah, we're um, really happy. Bobbin's our first kid. And <laughs> we're really proud of him. I mean, you know, something interesting happened. Yeah, like, ever since I put the rug on her, she's been uh, gaining a few pounds every week. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I love it. <laughs> I think we need to start a family workout plan. I'm not supposed to think these are funny. <laughs> um, I really liked um, like being in ASB. Like it allowed me to like get involved with the school in different ways that I wouldn't have been able to. My favorite experience of high school was probably like proms. I love the proms. They're fun. And I really like going to all the sporting events. I don't know. Riley and Madden, maybe? Yeah. We'll go with that one for the video purpose. Going into 10th grade chemistry when I met Dano and Sasha, who are obviously two of my best friends now. Um, freshman year, I never had that comfortability with all my friends, and just hanging out with Dano and Sasha and getting that sense of comfortability and that sense of friendship is something that I'll always remember and I'll always cherish and is so valuable to me and so important to me that it's gonna stick with me the rest of my life. So coming out, <laughs> it felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Paloma, what? Remy Dayton, and Matea Brown and I, I told them all three together at Remy's. After I told them, they all ran up and hugged me, and then we kicked Jeff out of the room for 45 minutes and just talked about guys. Um, but it was really accepting going to that. My friendship with Jesse. What was their best memory from last week? <laughs> Hey, um, my favorite memory of high school was definitely staying up till 5 a.m. with Miss Erin McCarthy doing a Fogger presidential paper that we got an A minus on. Yeah! <laughs> Being friends with Maddie! <laughs> <laughs> that was it! That was it! Jake's Christmas party when I spent the whole night cleaning this floor. <laughs> Scrubbed it, hands and knees, <laughs> used at least seven towels. <laughs> Julie and I started to be tutor as freshmen, and yes. then today we ended it. Woo! Don't give in to peer pressure uh, and be yourself. I think you're definitely gonna find uh, friends who like care about the person you really are. So just be yourself and don't give in to peer pressure. Definitely take advantage of the school trips offered. I went to Spain and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. You get to meet a lot of new people and experience new places. Don't focus too much on academics. Focus on like branching out and like having fun and just making good memories. Some people said Costa sucks, but I actually liked Costa. And I hate when people say they sucked because I feel like Costa, like people say that you couldn't find like your space, but there are so many places to actually find your place to be. It's a cutthroat place. In the end, you become stronger. So suck at a few people that said that. This year, when people were writing in my yearbook, I got a lot of messages saying, I love how confident you are. I just want to say that it always wasn't that case. I think the best decision I ever made in high school was coming out, by far. I just want to say that it's okay to have insecurities and obviously you have to work on those things, but do everything you can just to be yourself because that's like the one thing that's going to help you love yourself and then others can love you and it creates such positivity around you that you're gonna have some, such a better experience in whatever it is you're doing. To try to hang out with as many friend groups as possible because um, everyone's really cool in their own way and just sticking to one organization or one friend group is really limiting yourself and by the time you graduate, even if you do like expand your horizons with friends, you're still gonna wish that you talk to like a million more people. So yeah, just make as many friends as possible. Can I think about this for a I just, I just going to keep rolling until I come up with Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your last year in Manhattan Beach because most likely you'll not be staying here. You're going to be going somewhere far and um, 
just limit up with your friends while you can because they're not going to be here for much longer and you're not going to be here for much longer either. So I'm going to say while you're here, have a good time. So to our future high schoolers, our advice is to burst the bubble as much as possible. For most of Manhattan are small towns and it's important to get out as much as possible. So and if you want some advice on where to go, visit www.bursingourbubble.wordpress.com Don't be afraid to do things alone. It's really interesting and good luck in the future. That's some great advice. Thanks, y'all. Got a reason. If someone invites you to go out to the game or to the football game and the volleyball game, say yes because those are the memories you're going to make with your friends and remember how much spirit you had for your own school and how much pride you took in that. Away, like at the camera. Oh, Who's the most attractive Indian person to ever go to Joseph? Shabaya. <laughs> <laughs>